So I'm just going to do this example on how to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit. For this circuit, you're given, we have two independent sources and a load resistor. So the first step in a problem like this would be to isolate network A and B or, or separate them. So network B is the load resistor, so what we're going to do is we're disconnecting the load resistor. So this is network B on the right here, and network A is on the left, and what we're interested in finding is uh, a, a much more simplified equivalent to what we have here on the left. So the next step we're going to want to do after fi uh, identifying and removing the load resistor is to find the Thevenin resistance. And to do that we're going to redraw the circuit and for independent sources the voltage source becomes a short circuit and the current source will become an open circuit. So I'll redraw that. Okay, so I have my redrawn circuit, copy and pasted circuit down here. This is generally what it's going to look like. So like I said, the voltage source is going to become a short circuit. So we're just connecting the wires here. And the current source becomes an open circuit. So this stays disconnected. And our Thevenin, or the Thevenin equivalent, whichever you call it, it's going to be right here. Okay, so now that we have our circuit redrawn, we can clearly see this is actually a pretty easy resistance to find. It's just two resistors in series, and you just add them together, and you get 5K. So we know that our Thevenin resistance, our Thevenin, our equivalent, is uh, 5,000 ohms. So we'll just make a note of that. Our next step is going to be finding the Thevenin voltage. To find the Thevenin voltage, we're just going to be using our the voltage right across network A. So it's going to be at these terminals. And all we want to do is just break down this circuit. So again, we're just reading across where the load resistor used to be. And all we want to do is just break down this circuit and find whatever the voltage is that would be read here. So the first thing we can do is I see a source transformation here. So we can change this into a current source, put the resistor in parallel, combine the two current sources, and then we can change the current source and the one parallel resistor back into a voltage and a series resistor. So I'll go ahead and do that. So again, all I'm doing here is breaking down the circuit further just to find the voltage across these terminals here. So all I did here was just a source transformation, and that results in the 2K resistor parallel with a current source. Um, to find this current source, all you do is just divide voltage by this resistance, and you get 2 milliamps. Then after this, the next step would be to combine these two current sources. So you can actually just take this one out here. I would just redraw the circuit, but I'm running out of room here, so... And this becomes 4. But we're interested in voltage, so we're going to change this back into a voltage source now that we've combined the two current sources. So what I've done is another source transformation, changing it from a current source back to a voltage source. And if you multiply 4 millis times the 2K, you get 8 volts. So 8 volts is our new voltage. 
and to find there's something interesting about this problem is that you'll notice that this is an open circuit so there's actually no current flowing through through these branches through these resistors here and if there's no current then there's no voltage drop so actually the voltage right here is going to be 8 volts so just to recap our Thevenin uh, resistance is 5k ohms and our Thevenin voltage and now we know is 8 volts and with these we can now draw our Thevenin equivalent circuit okay so here we have our Thevenin equivalent circuit so we have V Thevenin 8 volts our Thevenin is 5000 ohms and this is the format if you're asked for the Thevenin equivalent circuit if you're asked to find say the voltage across the load resistor using Thevenin's theorem you would want to have an answer that looks something like this so if you're interested in finding the voltage across the load you just use voltage division here so you'd have the 8 volts and we're interested in the voltage across the 1000 ohm resistor so we just do the 1000 over the sum since they're in series we can just add them together so it'd be 5k plus 1k is 6 so we'd have 8 volts times 1 over 6 that would give us 8 over 6 or 4 over 3 volts across the load